What's up, coach? We're talking about one of the simplest pass concepts that you can install for your middle school offense. We're talking about a fade and an out. Um, some people call it Fargo. At one point, I called it Ghost. Um, Fargo is your fade and you're out. Ghost is your go and you're out. Whatever you want to call it. You can call it Alabama Jam if it suits your fancy. Uh, but real simply, so showing you what you have, what we have right here. We're in a two by two set. Your outside receiver is running a mandatory outside release fade or go route. Your inside receiver is going to run a, a, an out um, about four or five yards, depending on what you want here. Your quarterback has real simply, it's going to catch the snap two steps, just to turn his direction, turn the right direction for where he wants to throw the ball, and it's out of his hands. I didn't do anything with the F right here with your running back. You can have him in pass protection, you can have him flare out. You can have them kind of release through the middle and set up a nice little easy check down right here. Whatever you want to do in your offense, you have a lot of options with this. Um, now, what I've shown you um, through Go Army Edge is cover three. Um, and when we run through this, you'll see the, the, the holes right here. And I'm going to pause it right about here. This is the area where you want to deliver the ball. You understand? So backing up just one more time, these linebackers are going to have the flats, the DBs, the corners. They're going cover three, so they have deep third along with your safety. These linebackers here, they're going to hook curl. So there's a little gap right here. So your quarterback has to be decisive. Um, I read somewhere, somewhere online that said that the, that the best quarterbacks always know where the ball is going to go before the snap. And this is a great way for your quarterback to kind of exercise that. Um, another thing that I picked up along the way is depending upon where the ball actually is. Now, we know that the ball is very rarely ever placed right in the middle of the field. Normally, it's going to be on patch. Uh, this is a concept you can use, especially if, even if your quarterback doesn't have the strongest arm. If, especially if they're on the hash, tell them just to work to the short side. Regardless, this linebacker is going to come out here to the flat. This corner is going deep third, and there's going to be a spot right up here. So one more time, slow motion for you. Right about here is where he wants to deliver the ball. Now, just for kicks and giggles, let's show you out of 3D. Okay, one more time, we're going to back it up. You see what it is. Um, once again, this Go Army Edge is a really great app. It's free, it's something that you can use. You can download to your laptop, to your desktop. You can even get it on your phone, I believe, or your mobile device. He's coming to the flat. This corner is going deep third. Safety's going deep third. This corner's got deep third. This uh, linebacker has a flat hook curl, hook curl. More time. Going full speed here and now. That's when you want to deliver that ball. Okay. One more time and freeze. So really what we're just deciding, what we're determining is which one has the better matchup on the inside. Okay. Now here's the same play. H right ghost, H right Fargo, except this versus cover two. Um, you may not see cover two, but it's always good to have a plan just in case. All right. So it's going to be basically about the same thing, except some of the responsibilities have flipped. So the safeties have deep half. The corners have the flats. The linebacker here, linebacker here still has hook curl. This one, this linebacker has the middle or the middle section of the, of the defense. Your receivers are still doing the same thing. Got a mandatory outside release, got a got an out, mandatory outside release, and got an out. Okay, so I'm gonna run it one more time, slow motion for you. Ball is snapped, and right about here is where you want to throw this ball. The reason why you want to throw it here is, of course, if he continues to travel over, now he's where the DB is sitting. We, we want to avoid that. We don't want that. So you, you need your quarterback to make really good, smart decisions. The other thing you can do is, if you trust his arm, if you trust him throwing a ball, you can also hit this little hole shot right in between the linebacker and the free safety. So that's going to be right about here. All right. So once again, that's not a terribly long throw. Um, it just has to, one, your quarterback just has to be able to trust himself to get that ball there. It's all, it's really all, all about timing because you don't want to hit that ball so high. You don't want to throw that ball so high um, that the safety has an opportunity to come down on. So one more time, going back it up for you. There. Now, let's go 3D. See this here. Slow motion. 
And if you want to hit the out, here. Okay. Go let it play one more time. You want to hit the go, here. See the hole where he's sitting? See the hole where he's sitting here. Okay. Now, let's show you some film. All right, coach. So this first clip is from Clemson University. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Deshaun Watson at QB. I'm going to show you this play like we always do, running through first, regular speed, then we're going to slow that thing down. Still working the outside fade, the inside out. Balls out quick. Got good yards there. So that's sideline view. Now let's check out the end zone view. It's from the ACC Championship a few years back. What you'll notice is it starts off in trips, sends the man over in motion. You can do a lot of different things with it, with this concept, but the basics is simply you've got this fade by the outside receiver and an out by the inside receiver. Uh, one thing that's really cool is you see the quarterback's footwork. It's really quick. It doesn't take a lot of time back there. It's two steps, basically. One, two, balls out. All right. So we're just getting the ball out of our hands as quickly as possible because we want to be able to catch the defender kind of not quite ready. Ball's out right here. He's on the inside hip. And my man's out, out the gate. Um, makes a good tackle. Now this, they basically got a man up here now. Like I said, thinking about middle school, we rarely, unless they just really don't respect you, are going to see man to man. All right, so a lot of times we're going to see some cover three, some cover two. Uh, but just in case you see a, see some man to man, understand that your receiver knows where he's going, therefore he has the advantage. All right. Next up, that Oregon and Colorado, same concept. Outside go, inside out. You see we're working the top half one more time. There's your sideline view. Now let's check out what happens from the end zone. So working the working the top, working the top of the screen. You know, that push motion by the back, maybe just a little bit of window dressing. Quarterback probably already knows exactly where he's going. So what we have right here. This is Oregon and Colorado. We're working the top half of this. We have an outside go or a fade. Inside receiver is simply running a little quick out. Just about four or five yards to go, to go in order to actually get the first down. Slow motion for you real quick. Tell they're playing some type of zone just by the alignment of the corner up top. Push motion by the back, opens up a little bit more room. Quick out. Right there, turn up field. Now we got the first down. Now looking at this from the end zone view, once again, get your push motion. See how it makes the linebacker shift. Only thing it does is it opens up a little more operating room for that slot receiver to make that out. Look at all the space that's between him and this linebacker who was supposed to be guarding. One more time here. Watch quarterback. One, two, little hitch. Ball is out. Probably didn't even need to hitch. It's all right. He got the ball out real quick. He made a nice game for Colorado. So, hey, coaches, I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you need anything, you know where to find me. I'm Eddie Young. Thank you for watching the Middle School Football Academy. Make sure you can add this fade out, this go out, this far go concept to your passing concepts. We'll see you next week. Peace.